Hey, hey guys. Uh, today's video is all about my foundry setup. Uh, Squire Kev asked if we could get a, an overview of how I have things set up. It is a convoluted mishmash of hardware and software. I'm going to try my best. Um, so quick overview, foundry, D and D beyond camera, two computers, uh, mixer, microphone, a 10 mini pro, and a couple other bits and bobs. So foundry for those who don't know is a virtual tabletop that allows you to play D and D, uh, Morkborg, many other role-playing games. It allows connectivity over a network and it gives a pretty cool graphical, you know, uh, you can see the map, you can see dice roll. If you have that plugin installed, all that stuff. I run foundry on a DreamHost VPS. You can use local hardware, whatever you want. Uh, digital ocean, the forge, there's many options for running it in the cloud. I already had the DreamHost account set up. So I said, why not use, why not use it to run foundry too? Anyway, um, so uh, let's try to flow through this in some way. Like I said, it's going to be convoluted. I hope, I hope I can do a good enough job explaining it. I have one Intel NUC. It's just a small little desktop computer about what, five inches by five inches or so. It's, it's like a laptop in a small box. Anyway, I have an Intel NUC that I log into and connect to Foundry as a player. The reason I do that is because some of my players can't connect to Foundry because of technology issues. Uh, one uses an older Mac, one uses their cell phone, uh, one doesn't like Foundry, so we just play around those issues. Anyway, that computer then feeds into an ATEM Mini, which allows me to push the video into my other computer as a video source for Discord. So while we are playing the game, the players see in Discord, they don't see this view of me, they see this view of me. Right, so they see the player screen. I control just this little token of a crow. Of course the game is paused right now, but anyway, this little token of a crow is my player avatar. I don't actually play as a player in the game, I'm a DM. But anyway, so I can just kind of move this crow around so anyone who is looking at the screen through Discord can see what's happening in Foundry. And normally I'll have this closed. Um, I can move the little picture in picture of me around the screen if I find it's blocking something important, but that's unimportant to this video. Anyway, so one small computer connected to Foundry as a player pipe in the audio and video into Discord so that anyone who's using, anyone who's relying on Discord to see what's going on in the game can see what's going on in the game. On my computer, I connect to Foundry as the DM and have a tab open in Chrome for D&D Beyond, which is where all of our source material comes from, pull in adventures and magic items and things like that as, as needed and then tabs open for whatever other resources might be important to the game. I also use that computer to connect to Discord, which is where we all meet in, in a Discord server. Uh, like I said, the video of the player foundry screen is shown in Discord as a video chat, whatever. Hardware wise, obviously the camera that you're seeing me on now, it's a Panasonic GH4. I also have the Rode pod mic, which feeds into an SE Dynamite just to boost the gain a bit. That goes into a Behringer XR18 uh, mixer. Now, why do I have that mixer? It's just because that's what I have for other projects that I work on, right? So you could plug it, you could plug it, the microphone, right into the camera, maybe with maybe some preamp 
you could plug it into the camera. You could plug a microphone into the camera and feed that into the A10 Mini. You could get away with a webcam if that's what you got. This is my setup. This is just the weird, overly complex way that I do it. Anyway, side benefit of the Behringer mixer, I can do things like this or things like this, right? Uh, it's got effects built in and allows me to just add a little more, more to my game. I control all of that with a Stream Deck XL, which controls OBS if we're using it, which I tend not to these days. Anyway, uh, it controls the Behringer mixer. It controls the ATEM Mini to give me button access to things like macros, you know, um, well, all sorts of things. Anyway, uh, ATEM Mini by Blackmagic. So what I do out of the ATEM Mini, I take the HDMI out and run it into a I run it into a Blackmagic Ultra Studio Recorder 3G, which then goes USB-C into the computer to give me the best quality possible. All right. So I think that's the hardware. The camera, the mic, the mixer, the A10 Mini, the Stream Deck, the Ultra Studio Recorder. None of this is necessary to play, <laughs> to play a game in Foundry, right? You need a computer that can connect to the internet, something that's running Foundry. It can even be the computer that's connected to the internet if you feel like going through the the steps to port forward. So that's my setup anyway. Um, I hope this has been somewhat useful. It's It's overly complex, and I do it because I love tech and over complexity, right? Square Kev, I hope that answers your question. Any more questions, post them down below and I will be happy to answer as best I can. Thank you guys. Have a great day.